Michelle Bridge Bartlett here. I am the local business marketing training and support specialist with Builderall. Welcome to the Funnel Challenge. In this extended training course, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating a sales funnel with a lead magnet, upsell, and downsell offer. We will be integrating the booking calendar, super checkout, membership areas, email autoresponder, and the webinar tool just to start. The best thing is there is no coding or plugins or additional subscriptions required. Builderall has all the tools in the same platform that easily integrate with one another. Upon completion of this funnel challenge, you will be given the funnel we are creating to use as a template for your own business to use, sell, or give as an incentive to upgrade to a Builderall plan. The first step to creating any sales funnel is to create a blueprint to make sure you have a well thought out plan before creating your pages. To do this, we're going to use the canvas. So let's go ahead and click into the Builderall canvas to access the app. And let's go ahead and click add funnel and let's call this upsell downsell funnel blueprint and we will just copy and paste this in the description and click next now from here we can select the category that we want to work with we can choose all of the different funnel templates we can choose the ones that are designed to generate leads generate sales or create an event let's just go ahead and choose all and we have some selections here to choose from. However, for this purpose, I just want to choose a blank canvas and we'll choose an empty theme. So we'll go ahead and click select here. And now we have an empty blank canvas to get started building our funnel. So the first thing that we need to do is click the plus sign. And the first step of any funnel is an opt-in page or a registration page if you are making membership areas, which we are. So let's go ahead and choose an opt-in slash registration page. Now, after they've entered their email address, we want to send them to the email confirmation page because we want to always choose a double opt-in for a better quality list. So to do that, we need to right click on the form, edit element, and then we can choose pending subscribe. So let's choose confirm email page and we can just move this up here. Now, once they've confirmed their email, meaning they enter their email address on the opt-in page through the form, okay, it will send them to the confirm your email page where it will have instructions that we will put in there that say, go to your email address, click the link in the email to confirm your email address. Once they have confirmed their email address, they will go to the first sales page to collect their lead magnet and also get their first offer okay so let's go ahead and right click in the form again edit element and then we want to choose a subscription confirmed page and like i said this will be the first sales page offer so let's go ahead and choose a sales letter page and let's change the name of this to front end offer we can do that by right clicking edit page and then we can just change this here to front and offer. Now on this page, they can receive their lead magnet and also purchase our, the first offer. So they can either make a purchase or they can leave. Okay. So once they have made the purchase, we can send them to the upsell. So let's go ahead and right click in the checkout and edit element and then we want to add a success page which would be our upsell so let's go ahead and choose a sales letter page and let's right click on this to change the name to upsell now this is going to be the first time that we're going to give them a choice in this funnel because remember the purpose of a sales funnel is to sell something okay so we're going to give them the option on the upsell page to purchase the upsell or they can go to a downsell page okay so if they purchase the upsell we'll send them to a success page which will be the thank you page so we'll go ahead and choose that here and if they do not purchase the upsell we're going to send them to a downsell page so let's go ahead and right click in the checkout go to edit element and then we'll click downsell so that'll be another sales letter page. And let's change the name here by right clicking and edit page. And we'll call this 
downsell offer. Now with the downsell offer, they can either purchase the downsell offer or they can say no thank you and go to the thank you page. So let's go ahead and right click in the checkout, edit element, and then a success would be to the thank you page. So we already have that page created. So let's go ahead and select that page here because we want them going to the same thank you page. And then if they purchase the downsell offer, or if they do not purchase the downsell offer, they're still going to go to the thank you page. So let's go ahead and click downsell and then choose the thank you page again. So now that we have all of our pages connected, let me make sure that you really understand what's going on here, okay? So if you are the customer, you are entering your email address into this form. It will give you instructions here on this page that it sends you to that says, please go to your email, click the link to confirm your email. Once they've done that, they will go to the front end offer to receive their lead magnet and be offered the first item that we want to sell them. If they decide to not purchase the item, they will leave the funnel. If they decide to purchase the item, they will go through the checkout process and then they will receive an additional offer. So this is going to be our upsell offer. If they decide to purchase the upsell offer, they will go through the checkout and then they will go to the thank you page. If they decide to not purchase the offer, this is going to be the very first page that we give them a choice, okay? So if they do not purchase the offer, they're going to go to a downsell offer and that is this page here. Now, if they decide to not purchase the downsell offer, they're gonna go to the thank you page. If they decide to purchase the, th the downsell offer, they're gonna go still to the thank you page. Okay, so I hope that you're really starting to see this process here. So now we need to create some membership areas, okay? We need to have a membership area for the opt-in page because that's going to be where they register for our membership area. Then we need to create a membership area for the front end offer, the upsell offer, and the downsell offer. So this is going to be four membership areas that we need to create. So to do that, we need to go to the thank you page, click the plus sign. We can find our membership page here. And let's go ahead and add three more. Click the plus sign on the thank you page, add another membership area, and one more time. Now let's go ahead and rename the pages just so that we can stay organized. So let's right click in the page, edit page, and this is going to be the lead magnet membership area. Let's right click on the second membership area and this is going to be the front end offer membership area. Let's go ahead and right click in the third membership area and this is going to be the upsell membership area. And then our last membership area is going to be the downsell. So let's right click in the fourth membership area. And now we have our entire blueprint created. Now keep in mind, the purpose of a sales funnel is to guide them along and give them very little options to skip around anywhere. If we wanted them to do that, we would be creating a website. But a sales funnel is an automated guide to help you walk through the sales process. And this is why sales funnels are so important and so efficient at automating your sales process. So someone could click in here. If you're running Facebook ads or Google ads or any type of ad and you want to generate sales, the best way is a sales funnel because they are opting in. You are putting your first offer in front of them. If they they decide to check out, you're upselling them an additional offer they may be interested in. If they decide they don't want that, you can downsell them to maybe a cheaper option that they may be interested in. And then if they decide to not purchase that, you're sending them to a thank you page where you can actually promote these other offers as well, even if they didn't purchase them to give them basically a second chance to purchase, okay? And by creating membership areas, we are restricting the access 
to these areas. So these membership areas would be on the thank you page in the form of maybe a button or some way that they have an additional option to purchase any of these items, okay? But if they make it to the thank you page, but they did not purchase the downsell offer, you don't want them to be able to access that. And that is why we need to have it restricted in a membership area. Now, I know that this sounds complicated, but I'm going to show you in the next video how super simple this is as long as you stay organized, okay? Now, what we can do here is screenshot our blueprint and we can export. And let's just call this blueprint funnel. And we can save that here to our computer. And then if you pull this up here, you'll see that we have the blueprint to use as a guide when creating our, our pages. So now that we have the blueprint for our sales funnel, the next thing that we need to do is create the pages. And I will teach you how to do that in the next video. So until then, go build it with BuildRall.